We're here today with Master Scuba Diver Trainer, Stefan, talking about UT defense. Take two. <laughs> so today I'd like to talk about uh, the UTD Perfecto Fin. Um, if you look on the internet, there's not really anybody that uh, has done a review on these, especially one that isn't affiliated with UTD. I am not affiliated with UTD. I've never done any UTD training. Uh, no, have no affiliation with them at all. The review is totally my own. It's uh, not part of any any affiliate type deal at all. It's just me wanting to get you know a review out of a fin that's available on the market that isn't. Uh, so to begin with, talk about the fin. Um, UTD is a training agency and an equipment company. They are now separate. Uh, UTD um, stands for Unified Team Diving. They are now just UTD Scuba Diving. It's a training company. The equipment is its own company now. It's UTD Equipment. Uh, they have other fins as well. They, they came out with this three years ago as a recording. Um, it's uh, Construction of a rubber foot pocket and I guess braces going down the side and a carbon fiber fin. It has a stainless steel spring strap, pins, and steel, stainless steel going into the rubber foot pocket. There's no plastic bits. There is a little um, spacer here, but it has nothing to do with the uh, integrity of the fin. At the end here, uh, I believe it is brass that uh, is chromed, but uh, the screws and nuts are stainless steel. Uh, the spring strap is uh, replaceable. You can get different sizes of spring strap, as well as the fin foot pocket. You can get, well, you have to get the whole fin, but I guess you could, <laughs> could, could not get the, uh, the carbon fiber if you wanted to swap them out between them. Um, sure. I wouldn't want to do that, but, uh, yeah. but it, it is possible, I guess. But, uh, yeah, you can get different spring lengths in case you wanted to use it for wetsuit and dry suit, um, needing different lengths. Yeah, so, the carbon fiber fin comes in three different thicknesses. Uh... They may have discontinued the thinnest one, but the uh, the medium and the thick one are still available. I do know that. So the pluses on this fin is it is very strong. It is, I would say, comparable to any other jet fin for uh, how strong it is. I mean, actually, the the actual flexibility a uh, uh, jet fin actually has more flex than a carbon fiber fin, um, which makes it incredibly precise. So like when you're uh, frog kicking or back frog kicking, the little bit of movement, um, or helicopter turns, little bits of movement do exactly what you're trying to do with your foot, which if you're not doing it correctly can throw you way off. but. Um, but your exact foot m movement is transferred right into the water, exactly how it how it should. There's there's not much flex like a a regular rubber fin. And you found that like the technical, like the uh, like the like cave diving, yeah. or like that's where you really found these yep. fins to shine, right? Yeah. And like especially like back finning, if you uh, whenever you're taking your blade through the water backwards to to back fin the uh, the blade doesn't you know catch catch the water and tip up because when you're back finning with a normal one it can slightly catch some of that water and and pull your fin one way or the other so as long as you're doing it properly it can sl slice through the water real nice another thing about these fins is they are the foot pockets made of rubber they are very tough just as in any other rubber foot pocket style fin. Another really nice thing about these fins is they are adaptable. You can swap out the blades for thicker ones. Um, that changes the buoyancy 
just a little bit so if you needed a, a heavier fin you can get a thicker blade and it makes it a little more negative also the spring straps are uh, replaceable to where you can uh, lengthen those out so they are adjustable to the type of diving you're doing um, with every good fin there are always negatives all right so hey sorry everybody uh, our audio and video got corrupted in this little section of the the recording we were doing so we're re-recording it um but as i was saying there are some negatives with uh any product and uh with a full disclosure full comprehensive review um honesty uh there are some negatives with the fin um the first of which is a personal preference which is i don't like stickers and there are uh, stickers on on the fin further down there is a, a UTD that's molded into the foot pocket. That doesn't bother me as much, but the stickers, I don't like the stickers. I actually took it off of the one I had. Um, kind of leaves just a, a rough area where the gloss isn't there anymore. Um, but you can order it with specialty stickers. You can design your own little sticker that goes on there if if you uh, if that's your thing. So mine, I probably could have ordered it without a sticker. I don't honestly know. But uh, I'm not a fan of having having a big label on there. Um, but they're proud of their product, so they wanted to put it on there. I get it, but i just not a fan of it. Um, second thing is, with the carbon fiber, it scratches incredibly easy. Um, this is a brand new fin that I had bought my son a long time ago. He hasn't used it yet, so it's still in perfect shape. But uh, mine that I use is, is really scratched up. Um, I dove today, so you can't really see quite as many scratches as there are, um, just because it's wet. But uh, they do take a, a a good beating to the scratches and things like that. I gotta get that. Gotta bring that a little closer. Yeah, and so that's just normal wear and tear on the fin. Okay. Yeah. The, you know, because I'm obviously yeah. the front obviously doesn't get walked on, and it has the same amount of scratches on it. It's just throwing it in the dive bag and getting scratched. Mm -hmm. Things like that. It gets scratched up, but that's purely cosmetic. I no really, performance issue. Yeah, no performance issue there. Okay. Um, they do sometimes lose these little plastic nubs, which they send you extras whenever you buy the uh, the fin, which is nice of them. Mm -hmm. um, they're not they they kind of hold it in place, but it's not a big deal if you lose it in a dive. Uh, the Worst thing I've had happen with them is I have broke the carbon fiber. Oh. Uh, I don't know how it happened or exactly when. It wasn't <laughs> an obvious, obvious break. Okay. Um, it broke right after the, the toe pocket here, and I was in the Philippines where the boats you jump off of are really high. And I did, and after the the dive that after I noticed it was, whenever I hit the water, I did a good hard kick to make sure I kind of stayed up at the surface. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that did it, or if I just never noticed it before. Sure. Um, until you kicked really hard. In, until after that dive, and somebody was playing with it on the dive boat and cracked it. Mm. You know, seeing testing out the flexibility. The flexibility whenever you know wasn't paying attention yeah. or. If it was that, or if it was somewhere on the dive, I don't know. No actual clue as to when the fin broke. But it cracked right, right along there, but that's all it did. It just cracked along there, and I dove for another week and a half with the crack. Nice. So, um, the blades are replaceable. So, it, this right now is their thickest blade. The one that cracked was their medium, and I believe they quit putting on the thinnest ones in them because I think cracking. they were breaking. Sure, um, that's just a guess though. We don't yeah. actually know that. Yeah, but uh, but I ha I put these thicker ones on, and I've never broke one again. So cool. I don't know. And um, you know, for for diving fins, where would these fall cost wise? So these are. I look it up, but around $150, which is comparable to any other jet fin from a major manufacturer. So for for you, due to the, like the precision that you can get, 
and like the weight and everything else, you feel like these are a much better buy than just a normal jet fin. Um. Or there'd be reasons that you would still get a jet fin. I use jet fins whenever I teach in the pool. Just okay. because these get so scratched up in a pool. Mm -hmm. um, teaching discovered scuba dives whenever you're on the shallow end, they would just get brutalized. So I buy, I use jet fins for that. Yeah, I would say... So pool diving, stuff like that, but for like precision type diving, like when you're doing your cave stuff or wrecks, yeah, definitely want the carbon they're, fiber. They're very good for that. They're also very good for traveling because they're so flat. Sure. That, it's like a knife uh, blade. Yep. And if you take tools with you, if you send a check bag, you can take the blade out and fold these up, and it becomes just barely bigger than your foot pocket. Oh, nice. Okay. So, if you wanted to disassemble and reassemble on on the trip, you can make it incredibly small. So, kind of, kind of like uh, the Tusa. We'll drop links for some of these different things to their actual websites. We're not affiliated with yeah. anybody, so we're not going to be making any money on this, but that way you guys can look at which fans he's kind of comparing and talking about. Yeah. The Tusa High, High Flix. I don't know, but they made one so that you could disassemble it on vacation to fit in a smaller bag. And uh, I don't know if any of you guys ever listened to the Great Dive podcast, but four years ago, they did a review on it, and or not a review, they just looked at you know what was best selling at the time. I don't remember if it was a Christmas this year or what. But uh, one of the guys on there's like, no, I'm not diving something that that can be disassembled. It's gonna break. Um, which at first I'm you know shortly afterwards UTD came out with this, and I bought one of these thinking, well, I'll try this, you know, since it's a company that is for tech diving. And after diving it and and having broke one of these, I have no doubt I would break one of the Tusa High Flex in a single dive. Like, <laughs> they are so cheap and flimsy and plasticky that uh, there's a there's a difference between this and that. Um, I never dove it. Can't, can't say that I would, you know, did break it or anything like that, but uh, just... The workmanship and strength, I probably would break it. Stefan would be happy to answer any questions about UTD fins, so drop those in the comments, and uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content in the future.